So marking up your PDF is very easy in StageWrite software. Just make sure you're on the PDF view page. You should see PDF here. If not, just switch to PDF. And here in this area, you can upload any PDF. It could be your script. It could be your score with music. Any PDF can be uploaded here and marked up here for you to be able to compare this information with your spacing charts. So to give you a little bit of a tour, if I hit the, the lock button, I can choose to view this one page at a time or two pages at a time. And I'm just using my arrow keys on my computer to, uh, to go forward and backwards. You can also go one page at a time if you prefer. To unlock, now you can go and you can edit uh, this information. <clears throat> one of the tools uh, you can utilize is the bookmark list. Here there are bookmarks. You can insert bookmarks so you can jump to any section of the of the script or the score so you can be able to do your markups here. Um, if you want to add a bookmark, it's very easy. Simply hit the edit button, select anywhere on the page, and type what you want that to be called. And then hit the bookmark again, and it'll show up in the list in the order of it is in the in the pages there. In addition to the bookmark function, here's where you'll be able to upload your import, upload your script here or your PDF. So if you hit import new PDF, that will import the new PDF for the first time. Or if you hit that again, it will overwrite whatever PDF and notes are currently there. So if you have already imported something, be cautious about doing that. If you want to just simply replace the current page, this happens a lot of times. Say I'm, I'm working on this new show and the author wants to just replace some lyrics on this page. I simply go here, replace current page. It'll replace the page, but not my notes. So I'm going to go in and find, here's the new page four. And it just simply adds that. My notes have been retained, but it did change the lyric on that page. So now I don't have to redo uh, all of my work. Um, so that's a wonderful tool. You can also insert PDF pages instead of replacing. And you choose to place that the inserted page either before the page you're on or after the page that you're on. Or you could delete the current page. The layer tool allows you to mark up your notes and create different layers for each different department should you want to. On this example here, on this page here, I've got some lighting cues, some sound cues, and some blocking notes. And by toggling this eye, I can either show or hide the layer. Here I'm going to hide the blocking. I can hide the sound cues and look only at the light cues. Or I can turn them all on, and I can turn all of them off if I want to just be looking at a clean copy of the script. The layers, you can create new layers, so you can create as many layers as you want to begin marking up your script. <clears throat> In each of the layers, you're able to uh, create different items. You can add actions, you can add sound cues, you can add text boxes, you can highlight, you can actually draw by hand. I'll show you how. So. Uh, here I'm in, I've activated the light cue layer. So let's say I'm going to enter a new cue. So I, I select cue, and let's say on the word subdue, I'm going to send it to the right, and light cue 123. The LQ shows up automatically, and I just type the new cue number there. That allows me to add that very, very quickly. Uh, text boxes, I select the text box. I can just drag in an area. There is information. So I can utilize the white space on the page. I can drag it to any space, change the spacing, spacing all of that. I can also use the highlight tool. Say so I'm going to highlight these lines for some reason. I can change the color of the highlight there. I can also draw by hand if I'm in a rush and don't want to do it too, and want to do it quickly. I can simply add things there by using the the hand draw, the freehand tool. Uh, when you do, this toolbox pops up. Does this allows me to go in and if I select erase, I can go in and just erase the portions. Maybe I want to now type it, take the time to do it later, or back to pencil mode and draw something else. If I do that, that will this will select allow me to select that stroke and delete that stroke, or I could also choose to just delete everything that I did markings on that page. So that tool will pop up. This icon here allows me to move um, a, a something to another layer. So say, for example, 
this is a sound cue, which I mistakenly put on the light cue layer. If I've selected it and I hit this button, I'm going to move it to the sound cue layer. That way now it's on the sound cue layer that I can select and not the lighting cue. So if I move that, that'll, that allows me to move that. <clears throat> the undo button here, or the redo button. You can also ju jump from page to page. If I go here, I can jump to page 45 and hit go. That'll take me right to page 45. Any edits that you make on the page, <clears throat> you can save. So if I make any changes here, so I added like Q344, I can hit save, and that will save my information. To print the production, I can go here and I can choose to print the charts and the PDF that have been linked together, just the charts or just the, the PDF. And any of the PDFs that I've created have are down here. Um, so if I say I'm going to just do this production, do I want to print the chart script links? Let's say yes, and I'll set PDF. It'll be being created. And in the same list here, now you see this is just waiting for it to be created. And so when it's done, I'll get a notification that that has been created. Here I can check and see any collaborators that I've been working on and edit that list if I want to. And here I can change the settings that I've been working on. <clears throat> Now, a little bit more about the layers over here. I can reorder them by going here, and maybe I want the blocking to be first. Change the order of them. I can also change the way I want them all to, uh, to look. For example, if I want to change the way my light cues look, I can go to my layer settings by clicking here. I can actually change the name of the layer to lighting. And then what, what do I want my actions to look like? I can choose a font. I can choose the font size. The preview of that would be here. What do I want my cues to look like? What size font? And then what default text should appear at the, the beginning? So you, you, you might do L, LFX or LX. And then that will be what, what appears when you, when you change that. You can change your default highlight and then click update and that'll change going forward what you want your lighting cues to look like. Notice how the lighting cue has been adjusted here. So the title of it there. So you can do that for all of your layers. You can also add a brand new list. Let's say I wanna do props and I can add a new list. So now I have a, a, a layer of props that I can utilize as well. Um, the great thing about PDFs and charts is you can link these all together. So, for example, if I go to view my charts and PDF together, let me jump back to the beginning. So say I'm on this page here. Over here on the left-hand side are the thumbnails of the charts that I've created, and on the right is my script. So all I do is just select that portion of the page, I drag that chart to there, and now you see chart 1.1 is linked to that section of the script. And let's say chart 1.2 is linked to that section of the script. So basically each part of the script, you just say which chart is the one that applies to it. So now, <clears throat> once I've linked those, now if I just look at the script alone, now the link that's been created is created out there, so I can actually jump back and forth between that chart and that page in the script so I can go back and forth pretty easily.